stood behind me is a group of some very clever people. These guys are engineers from Rolls-Royce. Now we've been working with Rolls-Royce to develop a new activity down here in Live Lab to fly an aircraft along a wire. So what exactly is an engineer? And how does this relate to a jet engine? Let's go find out. My name is Will Spate and I'm a civil aerospace graduate. I work for Rolls-Royce at the moment in Bristol. Rolls-Royce is a big power systems company that mainly work in the aerospace sectors. In my day-to-day -day role I'm designing parts that essentially go onto engines that fly in the sky at the moment. What we have here today gets over the idea of jet propulsion. You propel a jet of air at high velocity out the back of the engine, which is exactly what's happening out the back of the balloon, which is thrusting the pilot forward and that's exactly how the aircraft is moved forward as it flies. An engineer is someone who applies scientific principles that they have learned to make products that the world needs. Being an engineer allows you to be uh, really creative, allows you to you know, follow your dreams, um, be a scientist and uh, yeah, you can uh, design some pretty cool stuff. So how does the jet engine work? Well, it relies on four basic steps. Suck, squeeze, bang, blow. It sucks the air into the front, squeezes it and compresses it down. It then adds the fuel and ignites it so it explodes. That bang then gets blown out the back, which gives you your propulsion. So how does that relate to this? Well, it's all to do with Newton's third law of motion that every action must have an equal and opposite reaction. So here we have our craft and this is our engine, just the balloon fixed to the bottom. So if I undo this clip, and now if the air is going to come out of this end of the balloon, then the craft should go that way. 